And I started listening to him. I, was, I got the shoe. Oh, man. So. You want me to switch it? No, no. Okay. Let's go over the first half. Okay. What do you mean? Who is him? Him downstairs. Him downstairs. <laughs> him downstairs. <laughs> him downstairs. <laughs> hey, Trevor. Him downstairs. So, him, him. So, Who is him? Bring it back. Who is him? Hey, him. Him downstairs. All right, let's go ahead. Let's right. go ahead and first talk. Down. <laughs> Should Scott Lenahan get the pink slip, right, that Professor? That is correct. That is correct. Start with bench warmer. Bench warmer? Yes. Why? Absolutely. Because you you have the best running back in the NFL. You have a, I, I, I love Dak Prescott. Uh, Amari Cooper, you got Michael Gallup. I like what he's doing, what he's showing. And you can't produce points. In the red zone, they were the worst in the red zone. Mm. Can you not be creative? And get us a red zone touchdown. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. he needs to be gone. Then we need we need to get an offense coordinator that is going to match what Dak is put put, put, put together. Mm-hmm. And Scott Linehan is not that. Mm-hmm. And and Scott Linehan was the offense coordinator or the you know, he's the OC for the Detroit Lions that went 0 and 16. I mean, no, one and one and one and 15. Mm-hmm. They, they went 0 and 16 too. Oh yeah, yeah. He, that was he, Rob Marinello being head coach of that team. Yeah, and, and who's who's the offensive coordinator? Scott Linehan. Mm-hmm. Yes, get rid of him. Coach. Jason Garrett's loyalty to Scott Linehan disturbs me mm-hmm. because I'm not gonna I'm gonna jump down his throat for the Cooper and all that because he hasn't had a full season off season with them. My issue with him is the lack of creativity. Right. You you can have a formation that's familiar to everybody and run different things out of it. When I, we were watching the game. On, on Saturday, uh, I watched the Rams run six or seven different plays out of the same, same formation. formation. Yes. And that's what it goes back to, the creativity. He's so vanilla in everything he does. And I'm tired of hearing, well, they don't trust Dak's ability to throw. I don't know why. No, I, I don't agree with that. I don't know why they don't trust his ability to throw. He seems, he'll miss a throw or two, but who doesn't? I watched Tom Brady throw a hot air balloon in the air over the weekend. It just turned, I mean, it was one of the worst throws I've ever seen him throw. It happens. So. Yeah, he has to go. Uh, we, we've seen enough. We've seen okay, enough, one game. and I don't want to see any more. Right. I'm, I'm ready to see him uh, get his pink slip and catch that bus or that plane back to wherever he came from. Matter of fact, I designed it for him. There you go. I'll pay for the ticket. There you go. Jerry, call me. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. 
Hands up, okay? Gotcha. 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 And 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 had had they had they called that a catch, which was a catch. We went to the NFC Championship game that year. Yeah. Do that's, we have a that's 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 different do, do we have an offensive yeah. line coach? Yes. Uh, uh, he needs to be going also. No. What? No, Mark 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 the, the, the Hawaiian. Okay, well, maybe, he got hurt. That's put, why he went there. Let me put it like this, okay? Go back and watch Saturday game. When you have three to four linemen standing around while your running back is getting pounded on, something is not being, some technique is not being done. No, right. it's the offense. It's it's the it's predictability the of the offense. Right. But the offense I understand that. It's, 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 that's all about offense structure. That's all if, if, you go, if you go up to the line and you see what the linemen are doing, and you don't, you don't re, re, re dictate the offensive structure. Auto go out of the play. It's still, it, it's, it's a done deal. Well, yep. I mean, but 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 your are Are they giving him that uh, that no, the authority issue. to audible out of the play? No, no, no. The issue is the first thing. This was Travis Frederick would go up into the line well, as, as, as a center. He wasn't there this year. We need to do like that field because y'all got two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to answer the question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I got two minutes to ask the question. Okay, Shelly, your turn. You need to go. I got what you're saying. <laughs> he has two and you facilitated weapons. So you know yes, that. I do. Okay. Professor, yeah. calm your people down. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little in the room. Cut that in my ear. Cut that in my ear. Everybody knows. Yeah, he has two main weapons to not be more creative with. His play. If you see me raise okay. my hand, that means cut her mic. <laughs> All right, so I let's go ahead and in. go to. Uh, sir, you can answer the question. Yes. Oh, yes. You can answer. I normally don't answer the question. I'm one immediate. But if you want to answer the question, <laughs> yeah. I can. I, I do just stop in the hand, get the pink slip, and my well, answer. Small world, small world, small world in half. You make a professor. This is, uh, this, this is my answer. I think that Prescott has reached his ceiling with Scott Linehan with room for improvement. Right. He yeah. has not reached right. his ceiling as a rookie quarterback considering what I saw in his rookie season. I saw the potential, but he can only go so far with Scott Linehan and the I way agree. he presents the offense to the Dallas Cowboys. If you get a new offensive coordinator in here that can get Dak to do more than what I know he can do, he can be a better quarterback than what he is now. So my answer is obviously yes. yes. And, well, remember, we the whole scene. and remember, Dak Prescott is a fourth round draft pick. Right, right. That was not supposed to be a but, starter, but but got but, first into the starting position. But coach, co coach put it real good. They stumbled up on a gold mine. Yeah, yeah. If they wasn't, they, they didn't think it was there. They fell into it. And as, as they, the terminology they used, it was a strong vein there. Absolutely. And, and they, they you know, so, but now going back to the offensive coordinator, one that could come in, mm -hmm. would, would you think we need a lot uh, offensive coordinator that would come in and say, okay, I trust you being a quarterback. Mm -hmm. I'm going to teach you what I know. I expect you to be, you know, as far as, Knowing when to throw the ball, knowing when to take off. Bring back coach. Wade Wilson. As, oh, as, 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 no, 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 not an offensive coordinator, oh, okay. as a quarterback coach. Bring yeah. back Wade, Wade Wilson as a quarterback coach. Kellen Moore, hell, don't think he know how to quarterback. Kellen, my question, my See, that's, 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 that's where y'all wrong, wrong, though. Kellen, Kellen Moore knows the quarterback position. Right. Because he didn't have the physical tools to play the position yeah, in the NFL, bring, that bring doesn't mean he doesn't away. know the quarterback. Bring I like Kellen away. Moore. Well, well, I actually think Kellen Moore should be the offensive coordinator. No, Brandon, why would you bring Kellen Moore? He hasn't even won a 
Your board decided to tweet <laughs> to T.O. at Real Jerry Jones. Woo! At 10 o'clock p.m. our time in California, he says, hey, at Real Jerry Jones, about time for a coaching change, don't you think? Uh, Two playoff down. wins in 10 years. Ooh. Garrett isn't the answer, and in all caps, never will be. Way to compete, guys. Hey, they go ahead now. Call now. Get your popcorn ready. Jason Garrett. So, so then uh, we had a local radio personality, uh, Brian Bottas, brought us, I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. We, local. we local. I said we had a local radio personality. Hey. He's one. Because he's on the radio oh, too. Oh, he had. That had just tweeted an hour ago. Oh, I'm about wow. to read, read this, this one. Okay. Yes. Mm. He Ryan, said, Ryan good, and this is interesting. He said, just my opinion and only my opinion, but I will let Jason Garrett and this staff coach on the final year of their deals. You want to see coaches work under real pressure. If you want to see them work up under real pressure, this is your chance. Mm. They make players play for contracts, so why not coaches? I agree. If it works, you pay. If it don't work, you move no. on. Deuces. So the question is, should we listen to Terrell Owens and move on from Jason Garrett? Having read what I just read from Brian Broaddus and Terrell Owens. All right, who's first? Oh, I, I you question. go ahead. Go oh, ahead. Definitely. Okay, number one, no. You keep Jason Garrett. You know why? Because players Love Jason Garrett. He, he like Trump. You keep there Jason you go. Garrett. Uh -huh. Because players love Jason Garrett. They play for Jason Garrett. And what you do is you get rid of Scott Linehan, but you keep Jason Garrett. I, I hear what Brian Brian was saying, but I wanna I want to I want to uh, uh not piggyback, but I wanna ask him, you know, we had a center at the Dallas Mavericks who only played for a contract, his name was Eric Van Pierce. <laughs> That's the only play for was a contract. You know, I don't want to get coaches or players that only play for a contract. contract. Yeah. And and more, more more times than not, that's what happens. I don't need that. Jason Garrett, you, you got a good head coach. He needs to he needs to get an offensive coordinator. The reason why I say you got a good head coach is because you got a player that uh, a head coach? Head coach. Yeah. <laughs> head coach. Head coach. Head coach. Head coach. Okay. Head. Not hedge fund. Go ahead. So, but the okay. reason, reason why you keep Jason Garrett because he he brought remember uh, when they they was three and five and we all thought this team was sorry done for and and he brought them back. You got to give him that credit and he got a playoff win so you got to give him that credit. We never expected them to go to the Bowl. It'd have been nice. It'd have been nice if they come to the championship game. But no, they want a playoff game. So you give them that credit, you keep them, give them extension like, like Gary Jones is doing, you get rid of Scott Linehan, get you a nice offense coordinator here, and you may have a nucleus. Can I ask you a question on that real quickly? How we keep naming North Turner, right? So how many North Turners out there that may be available? That Prescott's not. No, he's not. No. Okay, so you know, so we we talking about back in the day. Yes. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. But but okay, not so. So you saying that that is not built for a North Turner? No. So no. what offensive coordinator is out there that, that may be good for Dallas? That can that if, if you put you didn't that, answer my question. Uh, I, I got it. I got it. <laughs> so an offensive coordinator that's just like, shut up. <laughs> Well, we're changing the question. The question right, right, right. Yeah. We're changing the question. I know. <laughs> He's trying to uh, change it up. We're going to stay on track here. Okay. Yeah, we're going to stay on track here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. go ahead, Coach. Uh, Broadus has one point. I, I I do like leaving him on. Scott and Lynn here, and I don't want him here at all. Right. Not even for the last year of his contract. Jason Garrett, I don't have a problem with that. Because the Jason Garrett, for a long time, was Mr. 8-8. Right. Okay, before he started to 
Start get winning the, season. Please get please the please players in place mm -hmm. that uh, would help him win on a more consistent basis. Right. Uh, I don't right. put a lot of uh, stock in what uh, stupid Terrell Owens says because that's coming from a butthurt position because he believed Jason Garrett and Jason Whitman and all them uh, blackballed him and to get him kicked off the team. So right. all right. that's coming Jason from his boy. Right. So yeah. that's coming from a place. Yeah. 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 The yeah. place of place of being frustrated with that. So yeah. I, I'm not paying attention to that. But um, Broadus' point is a good point. I, I'm all for leaving him and, and making him perform on, on the one-year deal because he's right. We make the players. I do it to Dak too. Make Dak come back and play good one more year. It's I not like he's, on his he's not going to leave. I don't think I would do it to Dak. I'm going to tell you why. I wouldn't do it to Dak because, you know. Because who else do we have? No, 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 no. <laughs> what is, what is, Mental. Huh? Mental. No, yeah, it's, it's a middle thing. Yeah, because you want to know. Dak needs to know that this is his. I don't have to be secure. Yeah, yeah, that's the security thing. So you don't do that to Dak because this is a security thing. That's almost like. Uh, they what, did what, it to Roma. What Kirk Cousins did. They needed to Romo. Uh -huh. needed Remember, to. they didn't pay Romo to the mid part of the season. Yeah, but Romo went by James. We needed to. I mean, but when Romo came in, he was like, we still didn't really know who he was. But, but okay. No, Romo came but, in the not just, not, not just throwing fire. When, when he took over after that Giants debacle, Drew Black, that, 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 was, that was a he was, started lighting it up. No, but Tony still, Romo. But still, but that was one year. We're talking about three years of that. We're talking about let's 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 give go ahead and give him an extension. And so he can be secure. This is your job. So now you got to perform because I don't think Dak is that type of person that says I need to perform based on what contract. You, Fair enough. You, well, you, you give the money yeah. and just keep it moving. But yeah. as far as, as as the point of coaches, the only one you're looking at getting rid of is Scott Linehan. There's no other coaches on this roster you're trying to get rid of. Matter of fact, they're trying to they, they they're going to promote Chris Bashad to assistant coach because they want to keep him. Are okay. we sure about that? Well, I mean, or that's that we're assuming that. That, that, that that's that's in the words. Hmm. That's in the words. Yeah. I hope that they. He, he said that after his question. What's the question? He said, "Are you sure about that?" No, I'm not sure about that. Okay, that I'm that's sure. that's what we need to be sure about. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right, Coach? Hey, that's between you two. Yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute. Look, you know, Kelly, you are the thinking. <laughs> Get the ring together. <laughs> Quest, you got to buy some gloves. Yeah. Pull them out. Let's let's do this now. <laughs> but yeah. uh, so, um, what well, was well, your ultimate answer? Yeah, Scott Linehan has to go, and yes, no, uh, let Jason Gary be on the one-year deal. No, the, the, well, the, the, the question, should we listen to Terrell Owens? No. no. And move on from Jason Garrett? No, because T.O.'s an idiot. How, 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 how is he paying Jason Garrett? You know, because because Terrell Owens, I just said, he, he's butthurt. Right. The he way is. he was he was uh, kicked out. He of still thinks he's playing. Yeah, he still he, he's still he's still top receivers. No. He's still crying. Him and Dan Bryant sitting in the They're still crying. <laughs> they sitting in the ball. They sitting in the ball right now. They're in comments that shouldn't make sense. All right, preacher. I don't listen to has been if you haven't made a point and, and then he 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 he's drama clean anyway. He is, yeah. You gonna you gonna hold already. you gonna hold the NFL hostage by talking about you're not gonna show up to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. Okay. And you're gonna go to chat. Now that was a deep you know, struggle. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I don't I don't I don't like watching. Yeah, he, he had already lost uh, my respect, but when he did that, know, that was like that the is top. A, that's the top honor. It's like Ed asking Le'Veon Bell about, about his head coach out there in Pittsburgh at this stage. Mm -hmm. He's not going to have Where's Le'Veon Bell going next year? Or oh, what he got to stay in Pittsburgh, doesn't he? Le'Veon uh, Bell, uh, Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown, I wouldn't want him. I wouldn't want him. I wouldn't want him either. Now, J.J. Schuster. J.J. Schuster. Yeah. All right, let's go and keep him moving. All right. Shelly. Should you oh, listen to Tara Horn no, 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 no. and move on from Jason Garrett? No. Mm -hmm. okay. I kind of edged mine in while they were talking because okay. I know we run it low on I'm time. I'm going to try to give you a fair chance. Yeah, thank mm -hmm. you. I appreciate it. Okay, you. let's move on so to uh, third down. Who has accomplished a greater feat, Tom Brady or LeBron James? Mm -hmm. Coach. <laughs> Who has accomplished a greater feat, and that's F E A T, LeBron James or Tom Brady? I'm gonna say LeBron. Yeah. Because LeBron has managed to do it without 
great legendary established coaches. Mm -hmm. All due respect to Eric Spolstra, but when he took over for the Miami Heat, mm -hmm. he was like a video guy who became an assistant coach who, I mean, he was not a household name. And I understand he went and played with Dwayne Wade and, and, and uh, Chris Bosh, but he still won a couple of rings. Then he left and went back to uh, Cleveland and somehow got that Cleveland team full of spaz players, and I include Kevin Love in that category because he can never stay healthy, and went to multiple, I mean, he owned the East. Mm -hmm. The East is finally gonna have a different representative because he decided to go West. But the East was hard. And, and actually <laughs> beat a 73-win Golden State team, which I'm still trying to figure out how he pulled that off uh, with, with Cleveland. So to me, LeBron, the, the challenges have been tough for him because he hasn't had the stability that Tom Brady's had. Okay, um, let's go to Preacher. I, I like what you said, Coach. Uh, he's able to take something and make something out of it. And I think that's what Magic and the Lakers see in him. That's the reason why they were able to bring him to Los Angeles because uh, Lakers, they, they love winning. Yes, they do. And they want to win. They to win. Kobe I think I'm talking. Careful. careful. I don't like Kobe. Careful, careful. careful. I don't care. <laughs> uh, well, I don't, well, don't mess with the mama. I don't like are, are you, are you putting your little segment in on my time? I'm sorry. My apologies, preach. I'm through with that. <laughs> <laughs> Mic drop. Shut the mic. Okay, Shelly, who, who, who has accomplished the greater thing? I don't thing? like neither one of them. Dang. Brady or LBJ? I guess I gotta go That's for coach. <laughs> and um, you know, I'm not a big LeBron James fan or Tom Brady fan, but LeBron has done he has accomplished a lot in his short time being in the NBA, um, and at his age. So I probably think that um, he has probably accomplished the better, the greater feat. Um, okay. I do like the Lakers again now that he's playing with them, but Sorry, Coach. I do don't, not like Kobe. Kobe messed up my. That. I was a Lakers fan from the time I was 12 years old, and when Kobe came aboard, I was done. Okay. I stopped watching. Him. That's foolish. Well, but that's because <laughs> he, he became a tell -tale. He was he stupid, became, and I didn't like him. He became a tell -tale. Because he didn't like the that's party, he started telling about that's everybody was doing in the party. Not, to me, I, I, I was he got caught. Player to me, uh, uh, he was uh, selfish. Shack. Yeah. Uh, and then his personal uh, life, I told y'all, the cheap stuff is on my you nerves. You have to separate no, personal his personal life from his NBA life. worked on my nerves too. As a and woman. Kobe, as, as great a player he was, he didn't know how to do that. What? He separate. separate. Mm. Well, because he got five rings. I, I don't I, I'm just saying that, but he still, he magic. He's still, he ain't never going to be magic. He, yeah, you can not see that. Never going to be magic. He's not the top magic. magic. The only thing, 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 magic worthy. You got it. Oh, me? Look, them was the boys back in the day. All right. Kareem, that was my favorite. Kareem, that was the bar. Go ahead, so, 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 who has accomplished a greater feat? Who has accomplished greater feet? Brady or LeBron James? Okay, so if you look at both both spectrums as far as uh, NFL and NBA, okay, we've seen the NBA. We've seen teams go back to back. Mm -hmm. That's 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 been unnatural. Mm -hmm. Go back to back. In the NFL, it's hard to go back to back. It's hard to go back to Super Bowl. You know. Uh, you look at the uh, at, at Jim Kelly um, with the Buffalo Bills who went to four Super Bowls in a row. That's hard to do. That is very hard to do. The Patriots, you know, in, uh, as far as the, the, the New England Patriots, they're getting ready to come upon one of the greatest uh, uh, one of the greatest feats in, in, in sports history, which is which, which is being in a winning division, winning the division. Like for the next 20 years, they get ready. Dallas Cowboys, Dallas Cowboys had a winning season for 20 years straight. The Patriots are about to come upon that. Well, better yet, they're going to their 10th consecutive conference championship. Right, that is hard to do. We got to put something on that. They are in the weakest division in the NFL. I got that. I got that. But right. the, 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 the NBA, the East is the weakest thing. In the yeah, but they don't. Right. They don't. No, the weakest. The, the, the NBA is the in, NBA. The East is the weakest thing. In, in, but we ain't talking about the They don't have the division. No, no, no. LeBron is in the West. LeBron is in the West. We talking about the West. 
LeBron did his stuff with Now, now the let, West us, won, but let, us, let, let us recall when we said that LeBron was going to the West, yeah. it was going to be tougher. And he, and, 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 guarantee, I guarantee and he still holding his own. No, no, he's holding his own. No, he's holding his own. But I he's guarantee the Lakers the Lakers, great again. But the Lakers are like not going to be okay. what they were in Cleveland. But, but let's the not, not put it all on. Let's not put it all on the bond. Make the Lakers because, great because again. Because Magic is sitting up high and he's taking notes but, where but, but different he, players needs to be. But here's what I'm saying though. Here's what I'm saying though. LeBron did his stuff in the East. The East was a sorry conference. I mean, from top to bottom, it was a sorry conference, so it was easy. From four to eight. It was yeah. a sorry conference. One through three was But good. But if, yeah, if yeah. you're talking talk about the AFC, so who, who's, a, who's a better conference, the AFC or the NBA East? A better conference is the AFC. And Tom Brady consistently does it. Consistently, with no talent. But he's yeah. in a way Same thing with LeBron. I got that. I get that. It helps to know every year you got six guaranteed wins. LeBron, he's got like 16 interception guarantee wins. He still has yeah. to play the West, but, but, but the but, top West team. He don't get to though. skip anybody. Tom Brady still got to play the same thing, too. No. I think the biggest thing is Tom Brady. I think, I, 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 and this is my bias, I don't, I don't like LeBron. My explanation made sense though, didn't it? It, it, it sounded pretty good, didn't yes. it? <laughs> I don't like LeBron. So, I don't like anybody in Cleveland. I don't like anything about Cleveland. LeBron's not in okay. Cleveland. Stay at home. Because LeBron's a crybaby. Uh, <laughs> he's a crybaby. He's the Geno he, he, he is he is he is a oh, be oh, he's a better version said, of Genovi Flop. Oh, oh, you have said Man, have y'all seen? Oh, you have said that his hair lined yeah. up more and than yours. And he got no hair. That's that's not a good answer. Print you all right there. You all good. And the paint he uses is not the right. Oh, oh, oh you can't afford it. Yeah. Oh, you can afford it. No, you can afford, 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 afford it. So, so you're saying you're a crybaby? Yes, he's a crybaby. That's not a good yes, answer either. You're a crybaby. <laughs> you can brush by LeBron. So a rebuttal to that. You can brush by LeBron. Hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. You can brush by LeBron, and he would act like you you, you pushed him across the street. Uh, okay. Yes. Yeah, or he's a man from the who, who he brings to the table. table. No, no, that's the double flop. Hey, 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 hey. Nobody, that, that, that's one on one. Come on. Is this thing on? <laughs> that, that's not a good answer. Right there. Separate the man from the team who brings to the table. Uh oh. What was that? Oh, that's you. I guess that's that's how bad time out. <laughs> 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 time out. I might post something. That looks like you. Hey, we gonna get one in. Anyway, 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 anyway. And in LeBron, I'm sorry. We go to Miami. We're not winning one. We're not winning two. We winning twelve hundred uh, trophies. You lose the first round with the Mavericks. So would you not choose him on your team and, today? Wait, wait, and then and then hold on, hold on. That's for Quest. Yeah, forget Quest. That's for Quest, man. You gotta set him up, man. And 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 then and I got then, you back, Quest. And, and, and I then do what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go back to Cleveland. Mm. Right. He, he, he wish he was. And bring them a champion. Yeah, okay, good. You got one. Great. Do you Better think Cleveland zero. will accept him back again, though? No, they wouldn't. Oh, no. Because you done left oh, them no. twice. No, Cleveland. Hey, like, oh, no. no. That's like Chicago hey, telling. No. Uh, that's like Chicago no. telling Michael like, Jordan, don't like, you ever look this way through. All right, right. Like, like, no. Boy, boy, you can't and come back here. No, folks. To answer questions, questions. They're going to start yeah. singing, I don't know much, LeBron, yeah. but I know I love you. Yeah. 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 Oh, so they're going to accept the back. Oh, yeah. He's going to come back in one year and get that one day contract, and he's going to retire. Yep, they're going to retire his jersey. Okay, yeah. let's go down to four down territory. Fourth down, as a matter of fact. Going back to Dennis Smith Jr., <clears throat> are the Mavericks giving up on him too quickly, Bench Warmer? Uh, wow. Okay, so uh, you got Luka Doncic. Doncic. Yeah, you got him. Um, the question is, does he take away from Luke's, Luka, Luka's game? Because because Lucas really not feeding him. Mm. Lucas feeding. A, a, a but Lucas running the point forward, so he's got the ball in his hand more than DFJ. Right, 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 right. But they're not feeding him though. They're not feeding. What, what do you mean? They, they're not feeding uh, Dennis. Okay. Down low. Well, not down low. Up high. Not my turn yet. Up high. Up high. Yeah. Uh, 
Are they giving up on him too soon? Oh, yeah, I, think, okay. I think they are giving up on him too soon because I think he has a lot more potential, but I think he needs to show that. I, I think that potential needs to come out. He, he, he's got the potential to be a great mm -hmm. guard, mm -hmm. but can can Luka and, can, can those two work together? And I think that it's almost like can KD work with a. a, a with, with, uh, uh, with Draymond? No, no, not with Draymond. No. Now, can KD work with a, 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 a with, with, LeBron? No, no, no Westbrook. 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 They couldn't work together. Oh, you talking about uh, Brussels Westbrook? Okay. Yeah, 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 they couldn't yeah. work together. Can Can Luca work with Dennis? Oh, can Dennis work with Luca? Luca, Luca, show his name. Okay. It's all it's, for right now. It's all about Luca. Coach. Are the Mavericks giving up on DSJ too quickly? Uh, no, they need to trade him as quickly as possible. And I'll get into that in just a second. I'm going to kind of rebuttal what he just said about okay. the, uh, Russell Westbrook and, and KD. <laughs> I'm um, wondering, this is Oklahoma pride right here. Well, no, so, no, not with the Thunder. I'm, I'm, I'm not surprised about the rebuttal. Who the hell cares about it? I'm not. <laughs> but, Go ahead. No, but when Russell and KD really start to butt heads, that's when both of them became alpha dogs. Right. And Russell Westbrook wasn't smart enough to realize that in crunch time, the ball needed to be in KD's hands. Right. It's already been established with the Mavericks that Luka is the man. He's the alpha dog. He, uh, Dennis Smith's not willing to accept that. And it shows in his numbers. It shows in his demeanor, his attitude, everything on the court. Mm -hmm. So you've got to nip this in the bud quick. Mm -hmm. I personally don't know how much value Dennis Smith Jr. has right now mm -hmm. because the Mavericks have made it clear. Rick Carlisle, by the amount he put, Rick Carlisle likes Brunson more than he likes Dennis yeah. Smith. Yeah. 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 Yes. Jalen Brunson? Yeah. yeah. Oh, he yeah. loves Jalen Brunson. Uh -huh. And so I, I think he's a point guard, right? Right. He's a better fit with Luka than mm -hmm. the DSJ because he's a scorer. And, and I was going to say he can produce. Mm -hmm. well, well, I'm talking about Dennis Smith Jr. He's yeah. more of a scorer. That's his mentality. Is a score, and you already have a point forward, and people fall in love with guys who not only score but get everybody else involved. And Luca's been spectacular at that this year. So, if Dennis Smith has any value whatsoever, if you can pair him up with Wesley Matthews and ship them the heck out of here for something, oh, you think Wesley Matthews? Is on? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wesley Matthews. Oh, he's doing. Mm -hmm. He, sh and he shoots too much. He shoots way he's too much. Way overpaid. Yeah. 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 Only, I mean, but who would you? Th how would, who would you? It's an expiring contract, yeah, so somebody will take the expiring yeah, contract. Yeah, but who would you shoot? What's, 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 up? what's out there? Tim Hardaway Jr. Yeah. Uh, New York? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if yeah, I do that. I don't know if I do that. Uh, no. uh, in Brooklyn? Mm -hmm. uh, no, they're set at point guard. Uh, in Brooklyn or uh, Boston? 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 No, Boston has Kyrie Irving, yeah, and they have yeah. the, 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 the They're not too many. After, you know, that's what I'm saying. I don't oh, know. My time's up. I don't know. Where, <laughs> I don't know where his value lies right now, and I don't know what you can get from him. But if you can get a trade partner, there's got to be somebody that, be that, that, that can work with Luca. And remember, remember just you know, Orlando's in need of a point guard. Can my love be right here, old man? Okay, go ahead. And that is, he got you got to do it quickly, and I say do it quickly before February we hit. Because once February hit, yeah. and then you go you into be, your you uh, into uh, star, uh, break, mm -hmm. you, when you come back from that, you want to be already mentally sick yeah, yeah. and, and, and on the road to the playoffs. Who's going to be playing at all-star game? Can you send the L.A. and get uh, LeBron the ball? LeBron the ball? No, we don't need him. <laughs> <Dennis. Yeah. laughs> That's why I don't want oh. Dennis Smith Jr. anyway on my Laker team. Oh, wait, you? Well, I mean, let me ask you this, because there's a house in L.A. There's a house to be a tick for tax uh, position. Uh, well, not necessarily. Not because that's why I'm looking at Coop. It might be now it? because Beret, I think, is out for the year. Yeah, yeah. Towards the yeah. Right. So, 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 so but, but, but yet at the same time, uh, a, 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 a small forward, you know, that may be out there or, or no, a we small got, forward. Uh, we you know, small but I'm just, I'm just looking at overall, not not coming in and starting, you, you but you a good backup player with a draft, with a draft pick. You need guard. To, 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 you, we all, all we looking at guards. Yeah. You know, if you can get Orlando to take him off your hands, and you can get Fournier, the the, the shooting two guard, mm -hmm. and you right. get him to take Wesley Matthews' expiring contract. I'd look at something like that. Mm -hmm. You get a shooter in return to but play that two position that you're going to lose out on. And point guard, you got Brunson. What, what about so that? what I'm saying here? Yeah. Is a good strong. Uh, oh. 
I don't know. Uh, what I'm asking, a good, strong, off the bench player. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm asking. But you, yeah, know, you don't want to trade you don't, you don't two starters for a bench player. Well, yeah, but, but, I mean, not only just a bench player, but what about uh, picks in the draft? No, it's good. You have to replace those two players. Yeah, because yeah. And, and they're looking at this year. They still think they can make the playoffs, and they can. Right. Yeah, they're yeah, only yeah, a few yeah. games out of the eighth to seventh spot. Right, right. So, so, so you don't you want to get players? You want to bring players but, in? But that's, that's why I'm okay. Year. So, in other words, what I'm saying here, I don't know. Do we have enough big men? On the bench, they can come in. Yeah, they they have size. You know, yeah, they they have athletic size. They have big, lanky size. They have enough size. And and that's a difference with Mavericks. So why we in in, in, in eight plays like that? Because they're young. Okay. Young. But but that's the difference with the Mavericks though. The Mavericks, uh, their history has not had size. Now they got size. Got size. They don't have so, enough veterans in the starting line. They're and, really young. Nice and, and, young. And you need some shooters too. You need somebody that's gonna. He needs to shoot. And if, and if Dennis Smith, Dennis Smith, his his big game is, is, is a drive. He's going to, he's going to drive. Yeah, see, he's that's, going to, that's kind of a myth. He's, yeah, he's because he shoots 37% from three-point range. That's pretty good yeah. for a guy that you consider more of a driver, like you said. Yeah, yeah. He, he shoots a higher percentage than just about everybody on my Laker team. <laughs> so, you know, he's not a bad three-point shooter at all. His problem is it's just not a good fit. Carlisle's not the right coach for him. That's true. It's no longer and, the right team. And, and, and he was brought in as being and, the and that, that was going to be no, no, my no, next no. question on, on Carlisle. Is his time almost up? No. No, no, no. Carlisle no, no. 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 is not going he anywhere. Knows. Well, and the reason why I'm asking it, look at what he has done since the Mavericks won the championship. He didn't win a championship, so you leave him there. 2011, yeah. you leave him there. You don't worry about him. Here we are in 2019. You, you, you still don't matter. It's, 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 it's the matter. Mavericks' own fault because they decided they, to break they, the band up the whole after band. they yeah. won the title. Right, right. So you can't pin that on Carlisle. They let yeah, uh, yeah. Chandler walk. They, which, yeah, you leave him there. Uh, 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 who's that? Something uh, uh, so ridiculous. Uh, uh, Jason Terry won't walk. Just everybody. let everybody walk. Yeah, yeah. You, you just want to ring. You leave Carlisle there because he's a good coach. Right. And call out shouldn't. I mean, this this team should be as good as they are right now. They're competing. Uh, that was a great game. Them yeah. Golden State, brother. Man. Yeah, yeah. This, that this, was fun to watch. Uh, yeah, Golden go State barely won. It is, it's not like they just. Won. They got Curry, Chef yeah. Curry. Yeah. So, so no, no. Carl out there. He's there. He's a good coach. Want to chime in, Sheila? I don't miss him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't have much to say because I haven't really been watching the Mavericks lately. So. Well, that's Sports. Yeah, I know I've right. watched a lot of sports, but I'm not really into the Mavericks. Let's do this right here. Uh, do we have time for a break, or we just keep on moving? Uh, keep it moving. Okay, let's keep it moving. Uh, we got to get into this weekend's games. Okay. Uh, Chiefs versus the Patriots. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Cowboys. I'm sorry. The, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we wish. Yeah. We wish. Somebody's playing. The Playing, playing New Orleans. The Rams. Yeah, I was that the, uh, That's the, the Rams. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's start with the Chiefs and the Patriots. Uh, let's go with the Chiefs that took uh, Andrew Luck out of the box. That wasn't even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I, and I knew they would win that game because you're talking about a dome team versus a. What? Yeah. Juicy fruit. Juice sand. You said. Yeah, you're talking about Dome Team. Okay. <laughs> no, I can't go with that. Some Dome Team. You're talking about Dome Team going to Kansas City playing the outdoors, and playing the outdoors. And it is hard to play in Kansas City. Outdoors. Yeah, it's outdoors. And it was snowing. Outdoors. Yeah. So, and, and Patrick Mahomes, did, did he keep great? Mm -hmm. He didn't need to play the game. Yeah, he did that. Yeah, their defense, their, their defense is what stood up. You know, the, this to me was the most shocking of all the games. Not at the outcome, but the side of the ball that was dominant. Right. Because, like the you just defense. mentioned, the, the, the Chiefs defense has their been defense stood up. below average all season. Exactly. And they went out there and they just gave Andrew Rand Rand fits, 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 fits. And then shout out to uh, Damian Williams, Boom Sooner Nation, Rise Up, and running back for the You know what? Chiefs. You know what? Hold on, hold on. Boom Sooner! Stop that whole shout out. <laughs> we don't do booming shoes. Booming shoes. 
We don't do no shout. Who, this is who was a standout this, who they this, haven't really missed a beat the pros. since uh, he took over for Korea. This, this is the pros, okay? Yeah, he's Boom a pro. Boom a solo post, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> no, so y'all, y'all, y'all need to go huddle over there because this is, this is, this is the pros. Boom, yeah. That, that, that was an impressive performance. Um, I don't think they're going to beat the Patriots, though. Shout out to Texas Tech. Um, Practice home. Listen, right. listen to this. Remember when the year started? Patrick Mahomes overrated. We don't think he's gonna be. I don't think he's oh, good at all. He did that year it was the year before. We we are at another breakup broadcast, and I've been pummeled by Dante Wesley and Cedric E. Lyons. <laughs> Wait, I'm Benjamin. Who said he done said the whole thing? We government. sat at this table. Government. This is the draft. We were supposed to draft. He the whole government name. And, and I said, and we was talking about the top four that's coming out that class. And I brought, oh, sorry, I only brought up this young man. And all I get was, oh, he just got on. He, he gonna be sorry. He just got on. That's all he got. I'm like, seriously, dude. Oh, well, he threw 50 TDs in. Oh, well, it's just the Big Twelve. Wait, wait, wait. I kept I telling them. Hold on, hold on. I, I did say shout out to Texas Tech. Patrick Eugene. Mahomes. Only reason why I shout out to Texas Eugene. Tech is because my son was Texas Tech. Hey, Eugene. That's the only reason. Hey, Eugene to the red phone. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't that funny. Eugene. <laughs> you know, I'm going to take my ball and go home. Uh, if anybody see you, you did give it to the radio. I'm going to just put home. this out there right now. I'm not happy. I'm going to take the Patriots in this game. Eugene. 31 to 28. Yeah, I'll go I'll go Patriots. Because they're, they're playing, they're actually playing in KC, aren't they? And, and I think, wow. hold hey, on, hey, a sports Ooh. guy that I, I really like watching on television, who I think is one of the best, I won't mention his name. I'm not going to give him that kind of plug. But, um, <laughs> Being that beat no Troy Help me, please. No, come on. Now. But he, he said that if you're ever going to beat the Patriots and, and, you know, take over the AFC, you have to do it this year. Because right. they have 12 picks coming up in this draft. Ooh, Three of them are first rounders. Oh. Yeah, so they're, they're not about to start over. Because he the point he made was this is the first time they did desperate things. They went out and they got the, the marijuana head wide receiver. Right. Josh, who, uh, Josh, Gordon, Josh Gordon. Who yeah. decided that he would, you know, go ahead and quit. Um, the tight end's not the same right now Rock, yeah. because he's having back issues and right, issues right. and everything else, so he's real close to retirement. Their offensive line hasn't been what it was. Uh, supposedly, Tom Brady is losing a little arm strength. It didn't look like it when I was watching <laughs> I was going to say, what, what when arm I was watching it. How old is Tom Brady? He's about 80, 81, something he's like that. 40, 42, 42, 41. He wants to play till he's 45. 45, yep. He'll probably and, get and right now, it looks like he's going to because yeah, I don't see any reason why he won't. Okay. Yeah, I don't, because, because their system doesn't require him to throw the ball deep. He throws it a lot, but he doesn't he's throw dying. it deep. They're just yeah. a myth out Five there teams. that he flings the ball downfield all the time. Like I said, he tried to go deep on one pass. It looked like a hot air balloon that lost air. Mm. It was like 10 yards short of the receiver, and he had all the time in the world to throw it. They thought it had enough air in it. No, he had plenty of air. He had too much air in the ball. Yeah. Inflated or something like that. Oh my yeah. goodness. I'm going to go, uh, uh, on this game right here, I'm going to go Kansas City. I think Kansas City, uh, yeah, I think Kansas City will actually get there. Now he on their homes too. I'm not. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about it. <laughs> no, you're playing Kansas City. Before we oh, kick man. off this game, Kansas City game, is, we are looking for Eugene. <laughs> 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 go ahead, Sidney. Yeah, let this man make his point. You got 15 minutes. You got 15 minutes. All right, all right, all right. So, so there, you play at Kansas City. Uh, it's hard to play at Kansas City. That is the hard. That is the hardest thing to play with. And, and, you know, we're talking about two outdoor teams, but I think KC is more built to play in New England than anybody else is going to be able to play with. And Patrick Mahomes, while he didn't have a spectacular game against Indianapolis, he didn't really need to. The defense stood up. I think the defense is going to stand up this time against New England. And, uh, and I think Patrick Mahomes, Mahomes and Tariq Hill, because we really had, had, had mentioned him yet. Tariq Hill? Tariq Hill, we haven't mentioned him yet. I think those two right there are going to be going to be <laughs> Oh, no, I doubt that. Trust me, Belichick, I have some for Hill. Yeah. Hill will not beat them, I promise you that. <laughs> well, well, I promise you that. Unless it's, it's on kick returns. I'm still going KC. <laughs> okay, uh, score. 
Could be beat New Orleans. Oh, can you see that right there? What does that mean? Five yeah. Rams. Five Rams. Yeah. New Orleans 45 21 for me. Ooh. I'm going Rams 34, Saints 30. I think the Rams are going to get them this time. Not in New Orleans. Yes. Okay. That's a good score. I think I think New Orleans is still, in a way, struggling, even a tail off from the, the, the end of the season. Game. They are still, in a way, struggling to score at, as, as freely as they were early in the season. Mm-hmm. They were behind by Philadelphia, 14 to nothing. I know. But they that. shut them down, but they struggled to even get to 20. How do you, how on their home turf. How does Fort Philadelphia go up 14 nothing and still do that? Because somehow, some way, ever, ever since there. we played the, the Saints. I was running Jeffrey, you can't catch. And that was a game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Went to the game and they had a But I truly believe ever since the Cowboys played the Saints, the Saints have not been the same team. I got to go back to, so you mentioned Cowboys. I got to go back to uh, that that. The, 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 uh, what was that, in the grass call was called? Uh, on, uh, oh, one of the worst calls I've ever seen. Hot, hot. Yeah. So, Lil Collins. Yeah, grass for the so, so who, got, who, who was credited for the sack? Uh, I hope it was Rondell Collins. No, no, Lil Collins, yeah. How does the offensive lineman get credited to get a sack on his own quarterback? Yeah, he did, and there was the closest defender to him that got the credit for the sack. But, but, you know, you but know, they blow the whistle because it's all about protecting the quarterback. But the penalty that was pretty much called was that Lil Collins was not supposed to do it, do that to his quarterback. Yeah, that's in the rule book. Yeah, he's supposed to, he's supposed to let his quarterback he's go. He's not a call because you'd rather see that. But I mean, but had he let his quarterback go, his quarterback would have been loose. And, you know. Yep. That was a key play in the game. That was, that was huge in the game. Uh, I believe uh, it was another game. Remember when the Cowboys played C- uh, Seattle back after the season? Yep. And it was a call uh, went against the Cowboys defense that they had Russell Marlin below the knee. Yeah, yeah. Russell the pass, and it was another call made in the playoffs against. Uh, that, was against that, was against, that was against Randy Gregory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think that's a stupid call. But they called that again. They Somebody called that again against, against uh, Philadelphia. For the, for the they they yeah. Yeah, they yeah. called the same. They called the same roughing the pass against uh, Philadelphia because it went to his. But but at the same time, if I'm going down, you can't help it. You can't help it. And same way with the Cowboys. Right. Defense, he couldn't help it. It wasn't like he was shooting for his knee. Right. He you was going down. down. He was going down. Yeah. You know. So yeah. I think that I, I I don't know what this is referee. The I NFL know. the NFL is flag football. Uh, <laughs> no, when no. it comes to the quarterback, no, it's flag football. No, it's touch football. Touch football, yeah. Touch What's the score? What you got? Uh, I really said I didn't have a score, but I throw one out there. Uh, 27, 24, uh, New Orleans. Ooh, that's good. Show. She said 45, you're 21. 21? Who? Oh, 45, Who got 21? Who got 21? Saints. I mean, the Rams. Rams. Oh, no. I had a quick stat here that I came across we didn't get a really chance to get into it here. Mm-hmm. You know, we constantly talk about how Dak is pink and dunk and all this good jazz. Uh, so I decided to pull up yards per attempt, mm-hmm. you know, for the season. Dak's at 7.4. That's for his career. Okay, Carson Wentz is at 7. Okay, I'm going with his division. Eli Manning is, is at 7, and Alex Smith, he don't count because he doesn't right. throw the ball at all. That, that far. He's not gonna be here for a while anyway. But this is the part I like. When he gets to the playoffs, it goes up to 7.7. So that gets a lot more aggressive when it means more. And if people don't remember, remember he went mano a mano with Aaron Rodgers sure did. Right, in sure that did. playoff game. Yeah. If it wasn't for a bonehead defensive breakdown, that thing was going into overtime after right. he rallied them exactly. inside that game. So this, this again, it goes back to that myth. <laughs> that he can't throw the football, but nobody throws it deep all the time. I mean, Tom Brady, 7.5 for his career. Jared Goff so far is 7.7. Seven, seven. They always throw deep. Drew Brees is 7.6. I mean, there's nobody. The only real major stand that Russell Wilson, believe it or not, 7.9 for his career. Wow. Almost eight yards per pass attempt. With, with that, if, if memory serves me correctly, what I heard about him, he he is the best quarterback this season that has rallied his team from behind to win a game. He's a gamer. He's a gamer. Well, yeah. well okay. 
since he's been in the NFL, he leads the NFL in fourth quarter comebacks. Mm -hmm. Right. Just think about that. Yeah. Fourth quarter comeback since 2016, he is over every starting quarterback in the league through those three years. Mm -hmm. But people say but, but, he's not the quarterback but, for this but, team. But, but going back, okay, when they say that, then look at why they saying that. Are you a hater saying that? That's a hater. You know. They're saying that because they're looking at the negatives before they look at the positives. He's overthrowing his receivers. He's he's throwing it to the right too much, to the left too much. When the receiver crosses the right, he's throwing it behind the receiver. But, or but, he's not running when he should. But here's the deal though. He's here's taking the sack when he should mm -hmm. not take a sack. But here's the deal though. Uh, because that cowboy position, that quarterback position for the cowboys is so polarizing, people are going to start analyzing every single thing a quarterback does at that position because of the cowboys. If it, was, if, if it was the Chargers or the Saints or Cardinals or whatever, he wouldn't be analyzed as much as he is. But it's the Cowboys, mm -hmm. right? And, and so they're going to they're, they're going to break every, down every single thing he does and start playing yes or no. This is not. This is good. So so that's that position. That's what it's called for. Really cool. You can go to New York and be a quarterback for New York for the Giants or the Jets. And you're not going to get broken down. But you uh, the Giants, he will. But and I don't you know the Jets. Eugene, reason why they cannot predict <laughs> that. We're running out of time. Right yeah, we've got to get okay. to the last question. Now, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Coach Head, uh, yeah, last go ahead. Question. One last question. Who do you want to see in the Super Bowl? Oh. Uh, we are set, right? Uh, uh, ideally, the, the fun no, matchup really. for me so. is the two legendary quarterbacks, so I'd like to see Saints and Patriots. Brady and Bledsoe. Uh, mm -hmm. Brady and Bledsoe. Breeze. 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 I was like, Bledsoe. <laughs> I'm like, where is he getting Bledsoe, Bledsoe from? Did Bledsoe play for us? Uh, I'm thinking this Bledsoe really? play. What? When you talk about me when I talk. Really? Oh, boy. Like, I got so to talk to this acronym. I'm looking at him like, what? what? CRS. Can't remember. <laughs> he got it. What? Can't remember. C-R-S, Sam. Can't remember stuff. Shit. <laughs> he got the C-S-R. I actually -S -S want also the New England to go, but this time up against a potential high scoring offense, so that'd be the Saints. I would like to see Saints Patriots. I think that'd be a very good game. Give me Breeze and right. Kansas City and New Orleans. That'd be a, a potential high scoring game. Breeze and Brady. There you go. Breezy. Okay, I'm going my home. Breezy. Breezy. And, um, Eugene. Jerry, go off. Bless him. Oh. <laughs> Breeze. Breeze. <laughs> Breeze. <laughs> Breeze. <laughs> Breeze. <laughs> Breeze. <laughs> Eugene. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to Kansas City, New Orleans. All right. Get your right. popcorn this ready. Is, get your popcorn uh, ready. Talk about me, Eugene. This ain't, this ain't the T.O. show. <laughs> <laughs> You anyway, know, thanks. He got Thank you, name. Brick House Lounge. Oh, CJ, ain't his name? No, Cedric. Cedric. Isn't there an announcement that you got to make for Brick, Brick House Lounge? Yes, next week. We was, they will open up uh, on Tuesday next week. Poker. Oh, right. So they're going to have, I think they're going to have a poker and a uh, casino night. Casino night. <laughs> Damn, we're going to lose the preach. Preach going to be missing in action. Oh, yeah. Hey. We got to preach. Uh, girlfriend talks is next week also. Eight, eight from eight to nine. Eight to nine. Girlfriend talks is next week. You, uh, preach. You sitting that one out. I'm gonna sit in on this one. Which one? Hey, girlfriend. Girlfriend talks. Talk. Okay. It don't have to be. No, 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 no men. Hey, hey, let me tell y'all no something. Men, no one. one they said. They said it's more prayer in Vegas than anywhere else. In the world. So oh, no, 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 we're talking about the show. You, know you don't be able to pray. <laughs> uh, no, let me hit this up. Lord, let me hit the phone. Man, man, man. All right, this is been 4 Sports okay. Talk Radio, 4 Radio yeah. Network.com. We'll 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 back next week. Thank you guys for coming out. All right. Peace. Peace.